Hello everybody, AVT here and I'm back with another video in my Star Wars Galaxies Legends Beginner's Guide and today we're going to be jumping right back into the Legacy Quest where we left off and we needed to report to Lieutenant Kartour which is actually right here next to the starport. So let's see what they have to say. We are looking for Hnos Jarki, he's a dangerous murderer. Alright. So we got to defeat members of the Peddler's Gang. And hopefully figure out where he is. So, we're going to begin the 900 meter drive on over here. And I will talk to you once we arrive. Alright, so here we are coming up on the Peddler's Camp. Looks like there's a Pico Pico Albatross nearby. So I will do my best not to aggro that as I do not feel like dying today. So we'll go ahead and take out some of these Peddlers here. Hopefully that will give us the information we need to find this dangerous murder that the RSF is tracking. Alright. Only eight more to go. I almost have enough for a cluster bomb. I really wish I did. What a bummer. Go ahead and sweep and fire. There's enough for the cluster bomb. I'll throw the cluster bomb right there on that guy. Perfect. Four more. Go ahead, toss this guy a stun grenade. Hold on to that for me, would you? Perfect. There we go, and we only need two more, and we have enough for a cluster bomb, so I'm just gonna hit this one right here in the middle with the cluster bomb, and hopefully that will be enough. Almost, one survived. All right, now we're going to go destroy stashes of their goods. So that's the albatross. I need to stay away from that. Please don't aggro me, giant, angry, peco peco. This is really neat, this Galactic Senate building. I'm really intrigued by that still. Looks like their goods are actually over here in the city. Interesting. Looks like they're going to be spread throughout the west side. Let's read the quest in our journal. And throughout the west side of Feed. Okay, well, we're going to have to find these stashes of goods then. So we'll take a little cruise around on our speeder. And see if I can't locate what these goods are supposed to look like. We'll do it systematically, just searching building by building. That Looks like that's probably what I'm after. Is this what I'm after? A crate. There we go. So that's what we're after. These crates here. So let's keep an eye out for those. That one was actually rather well hidden. So we've swept this building. Let's go ahead and sweep this one. Make sure there's not one here. Since it's on the west side of Feed, it shouldn't be too difficult to find them all. Knock on wood. It does not look like there's any attached to this building. So we will go ahead and move to the next. I think I saw one on the outside right there, actually. Nope, that was just a column. Bummer. We will keep looking. building looks clean, so now we'll check the next one. And we'll just keep systematically sweeping the city. Explosive device. That's not one of them, is it? No, no it is not. I cannot go through there. That's unfortunate. Ah, there's another crate. So there's another one right here next to the cloning facility. Time to keep searching. Go ahead and check the other wing of the cloning facility. It does not appear that there is one there. Let's go check around this gazebo. Aha, ah, there's another one over here at the gazebo. Perfect. Three more. Should 
shuttle port looks clean. Oh, there's one right here by this building. So right here on the map. Let's give this building a quick sweep. Make sure there isn't one here. Does not appear so. We'll check the rest of this building. Even though I haven't seen one doubled up yet. Better safe than sorry. Alright, looks like that was the only one on this building. Let's check this small little building right here. Make sure there isn't one. I am not seeing one. Looks okay. Is there a... Ooh, that's a really high level battle droid. I really hope that doesn't aggro me. There's a crate behind the parking garage right here. Perfect. And then we only need one more. So we'll go ahead and give this building a quick, quick sweep. Not a quip. Make sure there isn't one here. It does not appear so. So I'm going to go ahead and check. Oh, there we go. Right next to the bazaar. I was just about to say, in the bazaar. Right next to it. Here is the final crate. There we go. And now we need to examine his crash site, which is just outside of the west end of the city here. Let's see what's over there. Looks like whatever happened, he went down hard. Well, it looks like he hit this tree and died. Okay. Peddlers. All right, so it looks like we found the information on where Derm Warrit is from that ledger he had with him. And it looks like he's right next to the city of Rapture. So... Actually, what I'm going to do, since I'm here and there's a shuttle port, I'm going to use the shuttle port, buy a ticket over to Rapture, and then drive from Rapture to where I need to go. It should be much quicker than driving 1,600 meters. So, ticket terminal. Oh, Rapture does not have a shuttle port. Just kidding, we're gonna ix that plan. Not possible. I could have bought a ticket to the other side of the city, but at that point I'm just gonna drive. So, since now it's going to be a 1600 meter drive, you guys know the drill. I'm gonna drive over there and I will talk to you once we get there. All right, here we are approaching the location of Derm Warrit. Looks like he's in the Borvos Thug Bunker. Let's see if we can't root him out of here. I need to activate some more buff items. My buffs are expiring. And it looks like these guys are going to aggro me. So what I'm going to do, since I'm assuming, being as he's a boss, he's going to be down at the bottom of the bunker, I'm going to just run through. And who I aggro, I aggro. We'll take him out when we get to the bottom. And there he is, Mr. Derm Warrit. Have a grenade. The hard man to find. Perfect. Now, looks like we're going to have to go get some Corellian Ale. Since we uh, beat some information out of Mr. Derm. So, it looks like we are headed back into Theed. I'm assuming over to the Cantina, where we can go get some Ale. Try talking to his father. So yeah, I guess we're going to get some ale and try and uh, loosen up the tongue of his father and see if we can figure out where his brother is. Apparently I aggroed one of those terrorists. We're just going to keep going. Ignore his existence. If you don't validate their cause, they can't hurt you. So let's see, how am I going to go about acquiring ale? Let's try the bartender. I'd like to buy a drink. Hmm, 
I'm going to go with no, that's not who I need to speak to. What does it say? One of the crates behind the bar. Oh, so we're just going to go steal some. Or, uh, I mean, uh, acquire some because we're a cop. That's, that's what we're doing. There we go. Here's the Krellian Ale behind the bar. Now we need to give it to Ados Jarki, which is apparently his father. And hopefully get some information out of him by getting him drunk. Which he's not too far from the cantina. Is he just hanging out beside the palace over here? Is that where you are? Or the starport? Oh, he's going to be staring off the waterfall longingly. I don't know if giving this guy alcohol is the best thing. He uh, kind of looks like a jumper. Hello there. Looking for some gongans, huh? Interesting. So apparently the Gungans have information about his whereabouts, some faction of them called the Muskeg. So we're going to return to Lieutenant Kartor and give, give her this information. Let's see what she wants us to do with it. Perfect. Who are the Muskeg? Secret sect of, of Gungans. Interesting. So now we're going to continue chasing him down. We're going to go defeat these Muskeg radicals outside of the city here. They're just a thousand meters away, which is not too bad. So we will make the short trek. I just wanted to take a quick moment during this video and thank everybody who's been watching these. Thank you for all your feedback, for your input. It's been fun interacting with you all. I hope the channel continues growing so that we have more of a community built around these guides and eventually once I'm done making guides, gameplay videos, and we'll just turn it into more of a social community. I think that would be really fun. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for additional content or even if for any reason you want another game covered, I'm more than happy to cover another game. Just let me know what you would like to see. So, here we are at the Gungan Muskeg camp. Looks like these guys are rather spread out. There's also somebody out here fighting them already. Well, hello there. Those albatrosses are quite intimidating. I'll go fight these over here so I don't interfere with the guy who's already here questing. That would not be very kind. And I like to be as courteous to our fellow Legends players as possible. I have ever quite a few of these. Hopefully this cluster bob can, bomb, not bob, can handle that for me. And it does, like it always does. Except I didn't need to kill those guys. I needed to kill radicals because I evidently I'm illiterate. So we're going to go back over here and continue taking out the radicals because they're the ones we actually need for the quest. Oh boy. Okay. Much better. Sadly, since there is a guy questing here already, there uh, seems to be a shortage of them. But it appears we're going to have exactly enough spawned in to finish this, which is just perfect, actually. Hopefully we don't need to kill fanatics afterwards, because I killed a lot of them, and now he's killing the rest. We'll hold our breath, and hope that's not the case. And we have to kill fanatics. Bummer. Okay. Well, the respawn timers are still significantly lower than they were on live, so it shouldn't really be an issue. But go away. Somebody has time for your shenanigans. Seven more. 
Please go away. These are, oh, these are zealots. So I'm assuming those are going to be next. So now, all there really is to do is wait for these guys to respawn, which is kind of a bummer. But it is what it is. Not the end of the world. We'll just take out a few more radicals while we wait. Because it gives us something to do. Actually, probably do some inventory management here in a second while I wait. Since I still need seven more of these fanatics. Let's see what we got here. Chronicle relics. Don't need. That's not junk loot. I have no use for that. Well, the radicals are respawning quickly. There's a fanatic. This guy hasn't asked for a group, and I kind of figured he was done with this portion of the quest already. So I'm not quite sure. So maybe he's not done. I don't know what this guy's doing. I'm just going to invite him to a group then. Let's see if he's intelligent enough to join. He's just going to keep going. All right, dude. Whatever, hello, friendo. Oh, he joined. There we go. Now we can finish this up together. Just leveling a medic. Interesting. Not a lot of people level as a medic. I've done it before. Uh, it's just difficult. Honestly, you just really don't have a lot of damage output. It doesn't make it very easy. I don't want to be fighting these guys anymore, but I guess I'll help you out. Alright, now we're on the Zealots. I don't know what this guy's doing, but... He's welcome to be in my group for this. I don't mind. Oh, no. Please don't aggro the Zealot Chief. I didn't see him. Ooh. That made me nervous. I'm assuming he's going to be next, so I really don't want to tag him if I don't have to. These guys just survive. In the name of Christmas. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Well, that's a real bummer. I'm actually just going to try and run away and de-aggro him. I really don't want to kill him right now because then I'm going to end up waiting for the respawn. Okay, snaring me's not cool. We're just going to stand fast and keep running. And now he's fighting the spiders. Interesting. Please don't attack him. Leave him be. No! No! Stop! Oh. No, don't drag him over there! <laughs> Please. Please, don't. Please, no! Wait! No! No! Oh, thank you, God. Oh, did he kill him? Oh, he did. No! Why? Right before we needed to. What a bummer. Alright, well... We will clear the rest of these out and wait for the respawn once again. All right, there we go. We have taken out the chief. And now it looks like we need to go defeat some shack tippers. So, since this has been a rather long quest chain, I'm actually going to call the video done here for the day. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out. I am more than willing to answer them to the best of my ability. And as always, may the force be with you.